we are back in my 96 Jeep ZJ Grand Cherokee and the check engine lights on <clears throat> this is what I use to read my engine code this one this one actually got cracked and broke I've been kind of rough on it I've done a lot of vehicles with it but it's actually a blue driver and I think when I bought it they were like a hundred dollars but any OBD2 system but I've had it for for a little while I bought them right after they first came out there's a blue driver app you plug this into your OBD2 port and if you notice there's a blue light that kicks on I think see the see the blue light blinking right here it's trying to connect to the vehicle you go to the app super simple easy take a second and scan it so I've got a two confirmed codes p0141 and 13802 sensor one of two heater performance and then I have a one or two circuit high that tells me my heater and my o2 sensor is probably no good it gives you a definition of it which but you can always look those codes up on the internet and one of two means bank one sensor two well if you had a v8 right you'd have bank one or bank two well because this is an inline six inline six cylinder 4.0 I have a or 4.6 stroker now but either way I have one bank because it's all on one side of the engine right heater number two so if it was one one it would be my first heater my first bank heater number one right because some of the cars have one on each bank or more and then one on each side of the exhaust so bank one because I've only got one bank Heater two tells me I'm the heater right behind the catalytic converter. I'm the second heater off on that bank. And this one's only got two. The first one's up by the exhaust manifold. The second one's by the catalytic converter. And this is what we're gonna put in today. Also, it's a Bosch, you know, they make pretty good stuff. Let's say I wanna clear those codes. Clearing the codes. It cleared the codes and look, my check engine light went out. What's up, boy? But right now we're gonna change out the oxygen sensor. Yeah, because it, just because the exhaust is hot right now. So oxygen sensor. And I really don't wanna lay on this dirty ass ground, but I guess I have no choice. So, O2 sensor right here. Oh, that could be part of it too. Look at that. That's why you always tie the fittings up because it didn't rub on it yet, but it was hitting the drive shaft. So up there, that is oxygen sensor one. This is oxygen sensor two. Okay, my camera shut off again. So basically uh, I'll cover this real quick. This is your oxygen sensor. Here's the new one, the Bosch. A little beefier than the other one, the cheap one I had in there. Um, and basically it's a 7 8 or 22 millimeters real close, kind of tight. You take the old one out, unplug it from this connector and this little keeper that keeps it from hitting the drive shaft. I like to stick the connector in the little heat shielding right there behind it and disconnect it, disconnect it here loosen take the old one out um and basically slide the new one in put the new one in don't crank it too tight there's only a few threads on it and then connect everything back up and there's your new oxygen sensor okay don't don't tighten it too much here i mean it's you're going to crush this little this little sealer uh, metal sealing ring or whatever you want to call it washer kind of like it's on a spark plug and it seals it it kind of mushes a little and you'll feel it so there it is, all right? <clears throat> Check engine light got cleared by the uh, blue driver that I have. And that's what I use to read codes. People have asked me in the past what I use. There's lots of them out there, but it was like a hundred bucks when I bought it. And I really like it and I've used it a lot. So, but, so that, that pretty much does it.